My name is Joseph Italiano. I'm from Harvard Medical School. I'm the chair of the Brinkhouse Committee, and I'm here with Lei Wan from uh, Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the science you're going to be presenting today? Um, I'm going to present today is about the um, bistable switch uh, of VWF expression in endothelial cells and how it affects the endothelial function. This is a really uh, interesting topic. How did you initially get started with this uh, subject? I first started this uh, project when I was still a postdoc in Dr. Bill Aird's lab. Um, Dr. Aird has been well known for his study in uh, uh, heterogeneity in endothelial cells. Mm -hmm. and the topic I'm going to present today is mainly about a gene called the Van Willebrand factor. It's also called VWF. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a hemostatic protein that made it the adherent of platelet to endothelial subendothelial surface of injured vessels. Mm -hmm. uh, we previously have found that VWF expression is not uniform mm -hmm. in body. Uh, we know with VWF expression is ex exclusively in endothelial cells and the malcaricides, mm -hmm. but in different organs it's not equally expressed. And even in the same organs, the expression is not the same between different vascular beds. Hmm. And when we look at the same vascular bed, it's also heterogeneous. For example, in heart, it's, it's where we are interested in the heart capillary endothelial cells. Only a minority of the heart capillary endothelial cells is VWF positive. Huh. That's, and, a, that's very interesting. Right. And even in the same vessel, the neighboring cells could, the expression of VWF could vary the positive cells could be right next to the uh, VWF negative cells. So that's where we started. We call it mosaic heterogeneity of VWF expression. So, yeah. so what was the major finding of the work you're going to present today? Um, basically, we, we asked the question whether this mosaic is um, dynamic in the endothelial cells. And whether this is uh, organ specific, uh, is it specific in certain organs or is the same in all the organs? And whether it's the influenced by the extracellular um, the environment mm -hmm. and what's the functional relevance and the, um, the potential molecular mechanism. And, and you say it's dynamic, does that mean it may change during the disease state? Yeah, that's we we use some uh, mass models. We designed two different mass models to check the fit map and compare those two models. We were able to prove this mosaic heterogeneity is dynamic both in the heart capillary endothelial cells, both in vivo and also like in vitro culture cells. Mm -hmm. So this is mouse work. What about the clinical significance of this work? How do you think it's going? This new biology might get translated into novel medicine. Um, first, um, when we uh, we found some functional relevance in when we removed the VWF expression, and particularly in the heart, we found a uh, profound defect in heart. Uh, both at the um, ultrastructure level and also the function, the cardiac function level. Um, but it's not in the organs where we develop expression is static, like mm -hmm. liver, kidney, or aorta. So we kind of expanded the, our understanding of the VWF function, particularly maybe the non hemostatic function. And the second is the, um, we believe this mosaic, the dynamic mosaic heterogeneity is uh, adaptive uh, function for the endothelial cells, for mm -hmm. the endothelial cell health. Um, so the traditional um, motivation for studying uh, heterogeneity in endothelial cells is to design the vascular bed specific treatment. Mm -hmm. and so the traditional goal is to either inhibit or increase specific gene expression to modulate local endothelial um, cell behavior, right? Mm -hmm. And, but if our hypothesis is right, then 
um, nudging all the cells to into one single state may not be uh, optimal. Mm -hmm. And we think it may be a better approach is to rec restore the heterogeneity of the cells that mm -hmm. might have be uh, better for the endothelial function. Do you think there might be drugs that influence this heterogeneity? Um, we are still in the process of exploring the um, molecular mechanism. One of the mechanisms we're focusing on right now is the DNA methylation. And the DNA methylation of the CPG size of the gene promoter is a potent um, epigenetic mechanism mm -hmm. we know. And we found the VWF expression is uh, correlates inversely with the DNA methylation of the VWF promoter. And, it, and also we found that DNA methylation is dynamic in the VWF promoter. Mm. So we are thinking is correlates, it, it plays a role in the regulation of this dynamic stretch. So that could be potentially one way to modulate this switch. Very interesting. <laughs> thank you for sharing your story with us. Sure, thank you very much.